Like a lot of women artists in their 80s, Judy Chicago is having a moment right now. Her work included a range of styles, mediums, and themes, situating her, in fact, at the forefront of many major art movements and aesthetics in California in the 1960s and 70s. With the generous support of the class of 1970, spearheaded by longtime museum council member Beth Treadway, the Johnson could acquire Chicago's important on-fire portfolio. I first learned about Chicago's smoke performances in the 2012 Museum of Contemporary Art Los Angeles show, Ends of the Earth, Land Art in 1974. The exhibition aimed to dispel a number of entrenched ideas about the movement, including the notion that it consisted mostly of male artists. Some of these works, titled Atmospheres, were intended to transform and soften the landscape by introducing a feminine aspect to the male-dominated land art movement. Other images focus on recreating early women-centered activities, like the kindling of fire or the worship of goddess figures. Chicago has been best known both for work that examines the role of women in history and culture and as an educator in the first feminist art programs on the West Coast in the early 1970s. While Cornell's famous 1969 Earth Art Show, which most of you saw in person, broke with numerous traditions of exhibition making of the time, it did not challenge the gender divide. Immolation is probably the most widely distributed image from Chicago's firework series. Shot in the California desert, the sacrificial ritual was performed by Chicago's friend and fellow feminist artist, Faith Wilding. Class of 1970, thanks to your support, we have been able to add important works to our collection to represent the land art movement and tell a more balanced story of this particular art historical period. These acquisitions include a large lifetime print from Anna Mendieta's Silhouetta series in 2005 and a portfolio documenting Agnes Dennis' 1969 performance Rice Tree Burial in 2015. I very much look forward to displaying Chicago's entire portfolio in our permanent collection gallery of contemporary art in the near future. We will be sure to let you know when the installation is complete. Thanks for listening.